Hello everyone, welcome to Usmania Docs. Today we have a special guest. Uh, his name is Dr. Vijay. He did his dermatology post graduation from Usmania Medical College and uh, finished his SRC from Usmania Medical College. And uh, he is an active member of HRDA and uh, cooperative member of uh, Telangana Medical Council and has done a tremendous work. Uh, I kindly I introduce him to the talk today. Hi, Dr. Vijay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So, uh, what all factors uh, inspired you to take uh, dermatology? So, when I wrote NEET PG, I had multiple options, but uh, first I took surgery in uh, Gandhi. Okay. But uh, due to the uncertainty when the COVID will end or not, because Gandhi, okay. Gandhi that time was a nodal center for COVID. Okay. So, three years I was doing only COVID duties. Okay. So, at the end, like uh, the last counseling, I shifted to the next branch which I am interested in dermatology. Okay. So, I applied for, I shifted to dermatology. Okay. okay. So, uh, um, like uh, how many, um, how many seats are there in your uh, dermatology, in your department? When I joined, it is uh, 12, 12, uh, 12 members per uh, batch. batch. Now it is 18 uh, PGs per batch. Oh, increased to 18, increased 18, 18 per batch. It is the uh, second highest in India actually. Oh. First so is Madras Medical College and next is Osman Medical College. College. Oh, so that, that's a great thing. It's a great design. thing actually. Like uh, our total department is uh, almost 60 members, like 3 years PGs and uh, uh, 8 assistants, oh. 4 associates and 4 professors. 4 professors. So that's a great thing to learn. And uh, how is the distribution? Like uh, first year, what, what are the, what the work schedule, second year and third year? Uh, so first year we will have basics. And also, like we have uh, academics uh, as per schedule, okay. and uh, we have uh, all like uh, combined work. We will be having rotatory postings in uh, different specialty of the same dermatology. Okay. We have specialty clinics also, like uh -huh. for each disease, like vitiligo, psoriasis, mm -hmm. and allergic uh, contact dermatitis, okay. and also like leprosy. Uh -huh. We have specialty branches, specialty divisions in our department within our department, okay. and also we cover uh, venerology also. Uh -huh. uh, STD, uh, we have a uh, monthly ones posting for every year. Okay. So every year we have a uh, uh, every year will be divided into this uh, all these kind of postings. Uh, so we have four units. So in each unit, uh, three months, we will be rotating into other professors. Also, we have a good exposure to each and every professor okay. and each and every unit also. Okay. No. So in first year, uh, in second year, uh, is it the same as first year or peripherals? Uh, where are, where are the peripherals? Peripherals actually we have in second year. From first year itself, we will have peripheral postings that is in uh, pediatric dermatology. Uh -huh. We have in, we have a, a other, uh, our own department for pediatric dermatology in uh, Usmani also. Okay. And also in Nilofar, there is one more uh, pediatric dermatology department. Okay. So uh, each uh, each uh, each batch uh, uh, one PG will be posted in uh, that uh, posting. Like first year, that, second year, third year. Yeah. Okay. Every everyone will be post posted. But that is once in uh, uh, every three months. Uh, in rotation. Uh, in rotation, once in every like uh, three to four you, months. It's in third unit actually. When we were in uh, uh, PG, it was in third unit. So whenever we have we enter third unit, we will be going into postings. Posting. posting. And right. That is one rotation, and uh, one more is TB chest hospital. Uh -huh. We will have allergy clinic there. Okay. And uh, we will be exposed to allergy diseases, and also general OP also will be uh, seen with uh, there. So you have to. And also we have. Uh, HIV and uh, HIV uh, posting uh, and also plastic surgery also we have postings posting, okay. and also in pathology also we have we have but due to COVID uh, some and certain re some reasons we uh, didn't attend we are not posted in uh, that rotation but I think but, now but they are yeah, but now. they are in our uh, curriculum actually curriculum, okay. we have uh, postings in other departments plastic surgery and also uh, pathology okay. and uh, H HIV also so a lot of exposure of yeah. uh, many. In, in your department itself, subdivisions of vitiligo uh, and all these things. And right? also, there is one more dermato surgery also. Okay. Procedure. Uh, um, not graft. All like vitiligo uh, uh, surgeries uh -huh. and uh, minor uh, surgeries like wart excisions. Wart excisions. And uh, lipoma, small ones like, uh, like which needed uh, which needs the like uh, precision excision. Uh -huh, precise. Sometimes yeah. like uh, we whichever is not in our in our, in our uh, purview, we will refer to plastic surgery mm -hmm. or surgery. 
So you to have some surgical we components. Have some kind of surgical components. We have vitiligo surgeries and uh, new like uh, hair uh, regarding hair. We, we used ah. to do hair transplant also. Uh -huh. And uh, we used to do hair transplant. Hands on. Yeah, hands on. We have good exposure in uh, dermatosurgery surgery also. Okay. And cautery and small excisions. So you get a lot of uh, like skills during yes. your post digestion yes. itself, and the exposure is. And also we have lasers. And also chemical peels, all advanced aesthetics. Also, we have a uh, good exposure in our uh, curriculum. PG so almost uh, like a, uh, you are trained directly to fit into a corporate. Yes. So all the advanced. Yes. Uh, even lasers, even transplants, hair transplants. So hair yeah. transplants used to be like actively done uh, like few years back, mm -hmm. but now it is like little bit. Uh, uh, we decrease the thing. We are doing only for medical uh, like scarring, alopecia, and all. But at least hands on. So, so that when you go out, you can yeah, do yes. for cosmetics. Yes, we, we can do. And also, like uh, it depends on the professors. Okay. If we uh, convince the professors and if we counsel the patients and we, if we can plan, so then if, we can do the hair transplants also. We have all the equipment of for hair transplants. Oh, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. And uh, what about academics? Classes? Academics are very like uh, in, uh, strict in uh, Usmania. Uh -huh. Strict in the sense it's. Like student friendly and uh, it's always uh, um, very much uh, interesting uh, things going on in academics also like group discussions and uh, discussions with uh, assistant, assistant professors and associates and also professors so the department department is very lively very lively and, and uh, there is uh, every day there is something or other thing going on happening uh, some academic, for academic some activities, presentation some academic activities presentations and case discussions oh. everything will be like we will be staying from nine o'clock to four o'clock, and that that schedule will be like very busy and uh, very productive. Very productive. Okay. So, so you will have a good OP, like a five hundred OP minimum, five hundred OP. We will be like uh, uh, seeing every day. Five hundred OP for a dermatology yeah, is a great very, number. It's a great number. Like a great. Hello, in Telangana, uh, Usmane has the highest OP for uh, dermatology. Okay, I as you said, uh, it, it has highest number of seats. So based on this OP and the learning and the sub uh, sub specialty within the specialty, so yes. they have they might have increased the seats. Yes. So it's a great place. Mm -hmm. uh, about thesis, uh, what like you get a uh, good opportunities to do thesis in uh, advanced yes. topics. Advanced topics, we uh, will be getting thesis in advanced topics, and uh, we have all uh, like encouraging professors. Okay. Uh, help, very helpful professors also. Like uh, if the student is willing to do, like uh, interested to do new 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 things and new topics, they will encourage and they will guide us. Okay. So that support system is yes. intact. Okay. Very good. Very good. And uh, coming to uh, like uh, work culture, or co like colleagues, seniors, juniors. It's a very like uh, uh, chill hectic. department actually. It's not hectic actually because okay. we don't have much night duties or night shifts or anything. We have a um, nine to four uh, fixed duty, job. Fixed duty. Okay. And uh, sometimes in like during the first year residency, it is a little bit tough to get accustomed to the uh, department. Mm -hmm. uh, that is. First year is like a little bit of more uh, work because all the follow-ups and uh, uh, little uh, ground work and academic work they have to. Uh, so first year is so little tough compared to second year. It is like every other department. Every other department will have the first, first year residency yes. little yeah. bit uh, tough. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Doctor Vijay, can you please elaborate the working style like uh, which day which OP like uh, four units are divided? So can you please explain? Yeah, okay. So every day there will be uh, general OP, okay. male and female, okay. and also there is a review OP that will be going on every day. Every day. And uh, specialty OPs uh, will be also will be like uh, every day, uh, but um, from Monday to Thursday there is uh, some specialties like uh, uh, leprosy, vitiligo, uh, and uh, psoriasis uh, and pemphigus. Uh, this all will be distributed all over the week. So when uh, each. Every day there will be male and female OP and review OP. Male OP, review OP and specialty OP. Ah. And there will be STD OP running daily. So, uh, as I understand, STD OP running daily, male female OP running daily. Yes. And uh, every day, one, few specialties yes. OP. Yes. So, you have exposure of all patients yes. in a week. And also one OT, OT day for every every unit. Four every units day. every day. In, in a week, they will have one, one, OT, one, one OT day also. Okay. OT for like procedures, whatever they are planning. Okay. Any like uh, skin uh, procedures, like skin tag removals, 
and uh, hair uh, what's involved and hair prp injections uh, okay. and any biopsy skin biopsies uh, skin biopsies uh, and all this kind of so one day ot one day ot so one day ot one day op one day review op and one specialty op and uh, uh, other academic day also there is this one uh, day for academics also okay and one std op an std op so okay you are busy throughout and yes. getting exposure of all kind of uses yes. and uh, coming to the pay scale like uh, in during residency it is uh, somewhere around 67 to 75000 depending on first year second year and final year okay 68 to in first year and mm -hmm. final year by final year it's 74, 74. Mm -hmm. yes. okay okay and once you like uh, complete your post graduation what are the scope in government sector and in corporate individual setups yeah government there are uh, assistant professor jobs okay. after uh, uh, completion of residency Uh, you will have to do one year uh, yes, senior sir. residency, and after that you will you will have scope for uh, uh, academic uh, senior residency also, okay. and also you can go for uh, up for assistant professor jobs whenever there is recruitment. Okay. And there are uh, in the TVVP also there are uh, specialist uh, posts mm -hmm. you can apply for that also. Okay. And in private sector you can go and uh, work in corporates and uh, and also you can have uh, your own clinic. Okay. Uh, depending on how you want to move your practice to be. If you are interested in teaching, you, you can uh, join in government hospital or any private hospital as an assistant professor. And okay. uh, if you are uh, want to only fix uh, to your private practice, you can open your clinic and uh, run a private clinic. Okay. Uh, like the uh, uh, will fellowships uh, uh -huh. doing fellowships will help you in like private clinics or in in. in yes, actually, like we have uh, in uh, one advantage in Usmani is you will have exposure to. The, All uh, procedures like in laser procedures or any advanced procedures in uh, residency itself, and also hair transplant also you can even do in uh, Smania if you uh, plan for a proper uh, uh, client and uh, if you convince your professors, you can do hair transplants also. So for for uh, one advantage in uh, taking uh, residency in Smania is you will cover all the uh, fellowships also in uh, residency itself. Okay. The topics, those topics, the, the topics of, of fellowships, fellowships like hair transplant and uh, lasers and uh, advanced procedures also. Okay. Few procedures like Botox and fillers that are completely cosmetic. They are those won't be uh, in covered in uh, residency, but we can uh, do any workshops or uh, can attend workshops and uh, conferences in uh, residency, and you can get hands on. Yeah, get hands on, and you can uh, run your clinic, private clinic uh, after your residency. Okay. So. Uh, Um, once we come out like uh, private practice, how is the practice like competition? Uh, like, uh, is it difficult to set up uh, clinic like equipment? What you need? Okay. Yeah, there there is a flexible uh, uh, um, setup actually. Okay. You can, if you are interested only in clinical dermatology, you can uh, have a basic setup. Okay. And if you want to explore advanced aesthetics and uh, hair transplants, you have to invest a little bit more and. Uh, Depending on that, the uh, investment will be more. More. Depending on how much you want to invest on the lasers and machines and uh, uh, OT setup. Okay. Uh, otherwise, it is uh, the basic setup will be like uh, uh, it's okay for any middle class person also. Okay. So um, even can, uh, from if you come from middle class, he can he can afford establish a clinic. Establish a clinic, but that is a basic for clinical dermatology. Okay. If you want to go explore in advanced aesthetics and uh, hair transplant, you have to. Invest more. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And the competition is uh, like um, as there is a lot of uh, uh, other persons or other uh, professionals ah. practicing dermatology because of the quackery. There is a little bit more competition, but that doesn't uh, mean that you have to be discouraged uh, to join uh, dermatology because uh, medical council and other um, uh, officials are uh, fighting against quackery. And uh, soon we will see a quackery-free. Telangana. Ah, uh, actually, I uh, we came to know that you, you and your team are working hard against the quackery and uh, 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 like filing cases, uh, like uh, seeing your best to so that the patient doesn't get suffered. So, uh, so oh, like, what are things you have faced in your like uh, this uh, run? Yes, yes. Actually, one more thing which is uh, advantage of joining Usmania is you can. Even uh, explore your leadership qualities also. Uh, you can join in the junior associations like junior doctor associations uh, and uh, HRDA also. You can join in there. You can 
stand out stand for your uh, fellow doctors yeah and fight for a good cause and uh, a quackery free uh, telangana uh, so as we all know that uh, our telangana medical council is doing a very tremendous job yeah uh, after uh, dr mahesh sir yeah. he is also post graduate of uh, usmania yeah so his visionary is uh, the main reason for uh, telangana no. hrd members no. becoming uh, telangana medical council members yeah. so we have faced lot of issues but uh, as there is like lot of since like 17 18 years there are no elections for uh, medical council um, dr mahesh sir uh, fought very well and uh, he uh, uh, he won the cases in high court and supreme court also and he got the elections and he eventually won the elections and uh, uh, he established the medical council team from hrda Great so thing. yeah uh, we filed almost uh, in one year we filed 500 fires more than 500 fires okay. over these uh, cracks uh, in rural areas and also i personally i am uh, doing on uh, quackery and dermatology and other uh-huh. other uh, professionals like uh, uh, ayurvedic uh, professionals and uh, dental professionals who try to practice dermatology and cosmetology so we have filed more than 20 fires on uh, such quackery such quackery also so in future there is uh, in telangana there is a uh, quackery we can expect quackery free telangana because our medical council is proactive and are, they are doing their work uh, they are doing very good job i hope uh, rest of the nation uh, yes. takes inspiration from telangana medical yes, council yes. and they too uh, like uh, bring stringent laws against quackery and help uh, poor patients yes Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you sir. So guys, thank you very much for staying with us. I uh, hope we are meeting your expectations. We'll come with more exciting uh, videos and uh, information for you all. Thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe. See you guys.